Now listen, chap. I want y'all to be prepared for what y'all about to see. Now look, check me out. I ain't never ever heard someone came came at me like this, talk to me like this, been this mad, disrespectful. But look, we're gonna get right into this video. I don't wanna five second attention span. Y'all kinda, you know, kinda slow, but I love y'all. Let's get right into it. Woman was approached by by a man who was interested in in getting to know her she rejected him because she doesn't want a man with kids but she has five kids ain't that ironic well, that was nice to you oh yeah i'm just texting my friend she was just texting me no it was, it was no problem i had seen you had left it on the table and uh i was trying to get your attention but you, you kept walking so you, know, you probably didn't hear me too well. That's why I was bringing over. Uh huh. So what you came out here for? I mean, I was look. Now, now check me out. For a dude to come up to a female, it takes a lot of balls. You know, it takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of courage to even put yourself in a position to even get rejected at all. And then he did it. You know, and the attitude that she having, like he did something crazy. Like he didn't do nothing. And if you don't find him attractive whatsoever, just be like, you're not interested at the get-go. Ain't no reason for you to be all sassy and all disrespectful just off the rip. She ain't even really said nothing for real. But, like, my man's really put in the work to slide, in, to slide up to you and, like, say what he felt. And and you 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 you, you acting real, real shysty right now. Bring your ID. I want somebody to bring in mine. And I'm going to break anyway, so it means... Well, I'm grown. What else you came out here for? I mean, I a, I mean, obviously that, and you know, it's, it's, it's obvious, you know, that you're pretty. So I was, I, you know, I was trying to talk to you, see if I can get, you know, get to know you a little bit. Uh -huh, I, I want to get to know you. So what else you do outside this? Uh... He asked you, he want to get to know you, and then you say you want to get to know him. Why you want to get to know him for? You don't even like, you you ask like, why you need want to get to know him? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you seem real interested, real disinterested right now, but you want to get to know him. Like, you making no sense right now. Oh, little job. Damn, little job, man. This is, this is a job, man. A little job, I mean, but it's, I'm a bartender, so, you know, that's what I do. I mean, I'm, I'm working on a business. <clears throat> oh, they make money, though. But you, you, you working on a business? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on a business. I mean. and, and, and look, this is, this is another thing. Don't give. I I know a bartender that make well multiple a couple of bartenders like four. They make bank. <laughs> Yo tips come clutch. You know what I'm saying? Knowing people comes clutch. You know what I'm saying? They they get called in for parties to mix drinks. So don't get it twisted and think oh you a bartender you ain't bro. Just like a lot of avenues connections you get in bartend being a bartender you get to know people and then network like it's real crazy you know a lot of gossip and all that you know what i'm saying you can leverage things you know information so don't don't let her discredit like don't let her fool you about bartender little job it could be a little job for somebody that's not taking it serious but if you're taking it serious it could be a career for people you know what i'm saying you could start up your own bartending company whatever but after the, all that little rant I just did, he said he's starting a business on the side. She's a prime example of a female. Talking about, she she's talking about he he ain't say he had a business yet, and she said, oh you starting a business. You know what I'm saying? She ain't say like, oh oh you starting something. Oh, okay, I like to hear that. She discredited him, cause he he don't got one that's already established. I already. Produce some revenue, you know what I'm saying? He has an idea, a goal, things to do. Like me, for example, like I made this right here. You see this? This is a uh, one of one of the tees that's gonna be releasing my my clothing line that I'm gonna be having. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not done yet. Things still in the works. But if I tell someone like that, she gonna be like, "Oh, you starting some? What is that?" She's not here to build with you, man. She's here to take. She's here to be a leech in a in an already established, you know, uh, company like a dude that already have a company business. You know, 
And off of that, that's a really red flag, my boy. You working on a business or you trying to get in my business? I mean, I, I'm working on a business. I mean, I we be make, actually make good money. Like, I get the bills paid. I have spending, but I like, just, you know, we be, don't let the title, like, fool you. Know? Like, you know, we make some make some good money here. You know? So what you drive? A vehicle. What you mean? What I drive? A vehicle. What kind of vehicle? I drive a, I drive a Monte Carlo. I got a 2013 uh, Monte Carlo. Um, bro, what are you tripping for, bro? Like y'all know, bro. If y'all from the hood, bro, you don't even got to be from the hood, bro. How you spell Monte Carlo? Like you don't even got to be from the hood, bro. Hold up. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. I was thinking about these. Money Carlo, I was thinking about these. But you probably got one of these. But look, at the end of the day, bro, he got a whip. It's getting him to point A, point B. Pretty sure that car is fully paid off. So that means he's good. You know what I'm saying? Only playing for insurance and whatever else bills he got going on. So he's great. What year we in? It's a 2013, I see. What year we in now? She's shallow. 2021. 20, what that? 2020. I mean, it's a car. It's, it give me from A to B. It's a, it's a, it's a whip. Right. So where you stay? I stay in the east. I got a, I got a house in the east. I got a two bedroom in the east. A, a two bedroom. Yeah, a two bedroom. What you want me to have? A, a, a mansion or something? No, I'm just wondering what the rest, what the rest of it. What is the rest of the house? Bro, what you mean? What's the rest of the house, bro? He's already ahead of like so many people right now, but like no cap. He has a car. I'm assuming it's fully paid off. He has a crib, two bedroom crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you? He got a a, a a stable job, making good money. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this man, he's a dependable dude. Like, he sounds like he sounds like he's living uh, an American dream somewhat. You know what I'm saying? He's not living lavish, but he's living the American dream because some people come from uh, how would I say. He come from out of the country to come here to make a living like how he's living. You know what I'm saying? And them people that come over here, they have no car. They have no house. You know what I'm saying? Have no job. Got to make ends meet by doing doing little jobs under the table. Like, come on, bro. Don't discredit this man, bro. He putting in work, bro. You should. Some, I do like him. Like, he's really, right now, bro, he don't, he don't understand his value as a man. He's really disrespecting himself by even talking to this tree. And I'm going to keep it a bean. Shadi got five chicks. She's wasting his time. He ain't even wasting her time. Because it looked like she already wasted her time way too much with the niggas she had five chicks with, bro. Like, even he's more responsible than you is. He have one. You have five. <laughs> what did that tell you? That tell you that this man's like, dang, okay, I got this kid, and I can't really have kids like that. I don't want to have that much kids. Because he, Lord knows, he can have way more kids than she has in one year. He can get five female pregnant. Boom. He got five jits. She have five jits already. Come on, man. It's a, it's a true bear on me. It's not like it's 30 people stay with me. I mean, it's a nice. I don't stay with nobody. I don't. I don't know about it. I was coming in and out the house. See what I'm saying? I'm independent. Like, what's the problem? I got a, I got a house, got a car, I got a job. What's the, what's See the what problem? I'm saying? Why, why, you got me feel like I'm filling out an application or something. You is. I'm interviewing you. I ain't got time to waste. There's other people trying to fill the same position. So, so you. Right. Other people trying to fill out the same position. Now she's now now we understand how she why she feeling that that like that. She's cocky. She probably gets hit on a lot. Other dudes validating her. Not understanding and realizing that he trying to look at look at her probably for a relationship. And for sure the other dudes just trying to smash. You know what I'm saying? They trying to hit pass. That's why she got five kids. You know what I'm saying? She don't got no man. She's not married. Look 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 at it right now, bruh. You have no audacity to be talking to my man like this. You should be like, oh, man, I respect what you're doing. You know, coming up to me, that takes a lot of balls, and I respect that. But right now, I don't feel like dating. I got five kids I got to take care of. I got a lot on my mind. 
you know, I'm feeling, I'm very stressed out, very, you know what I'm saying? Something like that to a dude, and he might be like, oh, I understand. Or he could be like, oh, I understand, just take my number. You know, if you need anything, I'll be there. I can be your your, your friend. I don't, we don't got to be relationship. We can take things slow. Everything don't got to be quick. You don't got to, you, you don't got to burn bridges like this. You don't know who he knows. Why, why are you doing this to this man? Like, come on, nah. Like, like a bidding war or something? That, well, that's where we at. So. I mean, I'm just trying to get to know you. Like, so, you know, so you got your, I don't know, I want you to know. At, you got, I want to get to know you. Yeah, sure. I got, I, got, I, got, I got one. You one? Yeah. A whole child? Yeah. What you mean a whole? I don't know what Oh, I don't, that's one too many. That's you one way too many. You don't, do, you don't do men with kids or something? Absolutely not. Oh, uh, so you don't have kids, I see. Oh, no, I got five. You got five kids? Yeah, I got five. Need I say more? Let's be realistic. They want their cake and they want their cake and eat it too. Oh, I want to shoot him and then I want to shoot him dead. But I don't want to go to jail. I want to get the same pay as man, uh, the the dude do. But I don't want to work as hard. Like, y'all, y'all, y'all tripping. Like, with the wage gap and all the payments, y'all be like, yo, why does he make more money than I do work at the same job? He's probably been, he's been there longer. He talked to his boss, asked for a raise. He been reevaluated in his job and see, and they reevaluated what he do on the benefit he brings to the company. So they reevaluated, like, yeah, we can pay you a little bit more. And you don't, you don't see the back end work. You don't see none of the back end. You don't see none of the grunt work. You see what the dudes get on top and you want it too. You can't have your cake and eat it too, bro. That's one thing I do not hate, bro. Hard work, bro. Like, I hate people that see. You see where well, I'm at right here. You don't see anything I did down here. And then you, you th just because you think you got the entry level position, you're like, oh, yeah, I should get right here. No. No. I, I had to grind to get up here. You know what I'm saying? The degree gets you to the door. It don't, it don't get you to know the people who I know. It don't get you the experience that I that I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, now, bro. This shit get me hot, bro. But, kids, I mean, kids, blessings. I don't understand. Thank you. How you got five? You talking? You know, I mean, because I, I got enough for the both of us. I don't need somebody to have a job. Right, right. I what? mean, I, I, I'm really just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get to know you, know, whatever. Like, matter of fact, it's not gonna work. I figured yeah, it out. Yeah. Nope, it's not gonna work. Nope. What, what you no, mean? it's I'm not gonna not work. Even, I'm talking to you like a. I know, but it's not gonna work. Gentleman. It's I not gonna work. You didn't disrespect me the whole time I've been at the car. All I did was come at you, you know, respectfully. You know? I, uh, uh, I, it's not gonna work. You got two guys. You, you see that? He came out of respectfully. He told her like, "Yo, you came up. You coming at me real disrespectful." You know what I'm saying? And I, her, her, her own rebuttal to this whole conversation. You have a kid. I understand she didn't have any. I would this this video. I would not have made this video. If she didn't have any. The fact of the matter, she got five. It really don't make no sense, bro. Everything. Uh-uh. But you got five. You got a whole basketball roster. And I get all five of my mother. It starts to whoop your mother. Don't play with me. Don't play that with your butt. Get a better job, You ain't even got no real J's on bum. And that was. Look how mad she get. Look how she get mad. She talking all that rah rah. You know what I'm saying? Talking all that nonsense. Let's read some of these comments. Shake my head. A simple no would suffice. Instead, you belittle that man. Whack and weak as hell. I feel it. A whole basketball roster. Yeah, I heard that. It was nice to you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. These girls act like they, they all, they all that is funny. My boy, you gotta stay in school, bro. I don't know what the hell you just said. She really thinks she bad and bougie with five kids. He sounded so sweet and calm. She's so bitter and negative. Now, now look, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a beat. I'm gonna be realistic. I feel like she's been hurt before. I don't know about like by her baby daddy, or whatever. It seems like she's been real hurt. The fact that she, the first her first instinct was to take the phone out and like record the whole conversation. It shows me like how immature she is. 
Like, let's be realistic. You mad immature. You're not coming there as a lady with, with any type of sense. I hope your kids don't follow in your footsteps. Because it don't seem like you... It don't seem like you stay, you mentally stable right now. You could have just said no and dead the whole conversation. Mans need to know when to walk away. Leave the trash on the street where it belongs. I feel it. She want to trap him with the six, but want to be his only baby mama. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's a big red flag, my boy. All this just to make him feel like, you know, and boost her ego. Her contentions will rot. Contentions will rot early if she doesn't stop treating people like crap. Lumford, that kitty not worth five kids. Gold digging girls driving me crazy. I, you know, this is this is the end of the video. What y'all can take for the video is like, bro, don't if y'all dating, bro, don't or looking to date, don't put yourself in a in a position like this, cause. This is, she's, she's filth, bro. Like, I can't condone this. I would not want my son to deal with anything like this. I want you to keep your head held high. Know who you are. Know the value that you have. The impact that you can have. Don't, don't, don't settle for, for stuff like this. Because this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Don't have, don't have jits. But females, you, you don't, you, you don't cuff. Why? Like, why you you don't you don't you're not even married and you having jits, bro. Like, you telling me like you you in your early twenties or like late teens having jits, bro. Why you didn't you haven't experienced life yet? You haven't traveled. You haven't seen shit. You haven't seen the biddies in Germany and, and, and uh, let's see what's some another place. Russia, you know what I'm saying? In Dubai, you ain't ever seen them bitches. You just been seeing these USA. And that's all you accustomed to, man. Open your open your third eye, open your eyes, man. You more you are more than what people what people think you are. But look, y'all know who it is. Jeff Floater from the Twitch, Instagram, and YouTube as some more. I'm out. Yo, subscribe. I mean, hold up, focus. Follow me on Instagram, bro. I'll be posting. Y'all need to like it up. And in the comments down on my Instagram, type uh, Drip Lord and all my comments. Spam it, spam it, spam it. We out here.